Hello and welcome to this video. In this session I'm going to show you how to download panel data using the Excel commands in line with Bloomberg mnemonics. So first of all let's go back to Bloomberg and have a look at the function we need and that is known as the data field finder FLDS. Within this function it gives you a list of the fields and the names you need to use so Excel and Bloomberg understand each other. So my examples surround Tesco. So we can choose the company in the first amber field and underneath it'll say what do you want to look for Tesco. For instance it will put last price. It will give you a list of mnemonics. Wherever they're white that tends to be more live data and PX tends to be more historic. If we, click, we can click on these mnemonics further to get the definitions. So let's go to my spreadsheet now. So the first one I'll show you is equals BDP, which is equals Bloomberg data point. This is where you'd want to receive one bit of information about a certain item. This example looks for the last price of Tesco's. And if you just type it in like this and press enter, it will literally give you the most recent information. Later on I'll show you how to use overrides to go back and look at something else rather than the most recent. So on here you need to do two things. You need to have the ticker, then a comma, then the field you're looking for. Now the ticker you must get that right. So if you type in Tesco, it'll come up straight away saying Bloomberg doesn't, Excel and Bloomberg don't know what you're talking about and it's an invalid security. So you need the ticker. If you don't know what the tick hours are for the companies you're choosing, a simple thing to do is go back to any Bloomberg window, type in Tesco into the command line, and it'll tell you TSCOLN equity. That's the ticker you need. The second command is equals BDS. This is for more bulk or quality of data. So this example here shows you a bulk summary of Tesco's. Shortly I'll again, I'll show you how to use this BDS to produce a list of say index members. Another command is BDH, which is Bloomberg historical data command. You can alternately use the spreadsheet builder on the Bloomberg tab, tab to download historical data or alternatively you can go equals BDH, type in the ticker, the field like last price, the start date and end date. Now remember for this it's American format therefore it goes month, day, then year. And if you do that it will give you a list of prices during that historical window you have asked for. So let's look at the override feature for BDP. So my, my example here, I want to download Tesco's revenue, but I want to download it for 2009 rather than the most recent, and I want it priced in US dollars rather than the pounds which will be priced on the annual report. So let's go to FLDS. So I've got Tesco select already, but let's look for revenue. So we type in revenue here. Again, Bloomberg would not know what you're talking about. On here it clearly says the top one being sales underscore rev underscore turnover. Click on that. It'll give you the definition for revenue and the kind of scaling factors it uses. So here it shows the current value, which I've got over here without any overrides. But here I'll explain the override process. Within FLDS, it also in here gives you some of the override mnemonics you may want to use. So here it says the, cur the currency is in GBP. If you want to override it, you're meant to use this mnemonic. So let's have a look. So 
The null overrides, just as before, it just asks for equals BDP, the ticker Tesco, comma, sales revenue, ender. But the overrides, you just need to keep adding to this. So you go ticker, the field, the override field, so for instance, the year one here, then the override value, being this value here, and then again, if you want to do the currency, you just keep going. So I'll just hover over this to show you. You've got Tesco's, then you've got sales revenue, the first override being the year, which year, 2009, then you've got a comma, the next override being currency, then what currency, USD, press enter, and it will change it for you. So if I go here, let's look for something a little bit more recent, 2016, it will give you the sales turnover, price in dollars, but for 2016. So that's how you do overrides using equals BDP. For BDS, here's an example in here. What I've asked it for is equals BDS, A1, so that's the S&P 500 index. And the field I've asked for is index members, and I've just pressed enter. This column and rows bit, that's pre-populated by Excel when you press enter. If I want to change this list, let's have a look at UKX for the FTSE 100. It will request, and what it will do is it will give you a list of the FTSE 100 members instead in alphabetical order. All I've done here to show you is I put in a command so it says, because if you want like the last price, you need to have the word equity. For it to understand it, you can have equals that cell and space equity, and that will produce the full ticker that Bloomberg understands. I block the cell, so I've gone. I want the last price for all the members on the FTSE 100 using equals BDP, the ticker and last price, and download. The last spreadsheet I'm going to show you here is one I've made earlier, and this is a huge panel data spreadsheet that mines specific data. And over here, what I've got is I've got a list of the 100 and FTSE companies, and that, this is in order of market cap. Now, I could have used the equals BDS to produce this list. But I'll show you a feature very quickly from Bloomberg I used. So if I go to the FTSE 100, UK X index, security description, if I want to look at its current members, it's got 101 members on it. What you'll see here is what's known as the drag and drop securities application. If I'm to hold that, you'll see this icon appear, and I can go to Excel and drag it over here. I drop it, nothing's gonna change here because it was the same list. But if I was to use an, an equity screening window and producing me my own equity screen list, or if I was in a portfolio, I could do exactly the same with my list of securities in the portfolio. But this spreadsheet, what I've done, I just hover over a cell here. I've used a VLOOKUP in this function, in this box, to provide a list of HSBC over and over. And again, over here, I've got kind of the override years I want to look for and in pounds. So essentially, this cell, I've asked Bloomberg to go, I want the disclosure score, the ESG disclosure score for HSBC in 2005, and I want it to override into pounds if it is a currency. If it's not currency, it will just obviously not override it by a currency. It'll just use the ratio it is. Um, I'll just show you how it works. I've got some black, blank cells here, so let's look for another field. Go to Bloomberg, go to FLDS. Let's for, look for 
percentage of women on the board. So percentage women on board, it'll show you for HSBC it's 35 currently. Uh, but what we do is we copy that, we'll put it into that cell there, and what I'll do is it will request this information for all the FTSE 100 companies over the last 13 years. And wherever it leaves it blank, like NA, that's because the data was not published. So hopefully that's give you an overview of how to use the various commands within Excel to download data from Bloomberg. Thank you for watching this video.